Hi, this is going to be a silly teacher-student adaptation of the Three Billy Goats Gruff. This story has been told many times and in many different ways. My class was inspired by the true story of the three little pigs. We call ours the true story of the three Billy Goats Gruff and Sid. Hello, I'm Sid and I'm a troll. You might already know me. I'm a bit of a celebrity. Do you remember that story, The Three Billy Goats Gruff? I'm the troll from that story. Yes, that's me. Why am I in San Francisco, you ask? After those pesky goats wouldn't stop harassing me, to cross my bridge every time I tried to take a nap. I decided it was time to relocate. Check out my house. Can you see it down there? Nice, right? The best part? No more pesky goats. Here in San Francisco, I have so many options for unique cuisine. As a troll, we can eat just about anything, but we do have three main food groups. Let me educate you. First, there's goat tacos. Those are so delicious, especially with tons of cilantro. Mmm, I love that stuff. But don't put it on my brother's tacos. He calls that stuff devil's weed. Our second food group is goat cheese. Mmm, it's so creamy and delicious. I love it. And finally, good old classic PB&J, washed down with a nice tall glass of goat's milk. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hey, don't judge. You probably eat most of those things. Plus, think about your favorite foods. A hot dogs, chicken nuggets, cheeseburgers, and pepperoni pizza really all that different? Who's judging now? On with the story. I was out for a walk one day, and I decided to take the walking path over to the grassy side of my hill. As I continued on down the path, I encountered an odd-looking tree of frogs. I'd never seen them there before, so I had to assume they were my new Neighbors. Want to be polite and make a good first impression as their neighbor, I offered them a banana. Those weird frogs took my banana and dropped what apparently were just masks to reveal that they were the three Billy Cubs Gruff! I was so angry! Three Billy Goats Gruff took turns explaining why they came all the way to San Francisco. It wasn't to continue tormenting me like I had assumed. The more they explained, the better I felt. They told me that they actually felt bad about the way they treated me at my old bridge. They even hired a private investigator to track me down so they could find me and apologize. Once I... (sighs) Calm down. We sat on the beautiful shoreline and shared the banana. After that, we went for a nice little stroll through the city together. And we didn't even get any weird looks. 
We were getting along so well that we rode on the trolley and took a selfie. Look how cute we are, especially me. We ended our wonderful day by going out for a sophisticated dinner. Now I've invited the goats to visit my bridge for a while. They really like that grassy hill nearby. Who knows? If this works out, we may invest in some beachfront property together. We'll call it our bachelor pad. Thanks for watching Whimsical Teacher Tube. Please check the description for linked products and don't forget to like and subscribe. Created using Powtoon.